it's a it's a huge challenge to choose to sail around Britain, I guess. It's um, about showing people that you know anyone can live an active life, even just somebody who can move their head. I can control the weight with two straws that I've got in my mouth. You can probably see them, and. Uh, the one on the, this one here, is a steering straw. So if I suck, we go this way. And if I puff, we go that way. <laughs> and uh, I find it easier to do it with both straws in at the same time. Because then I can just stick my tongue over the one I don't want to use and block it. And then I have another straw that uh, controls the sails. So if I blow down it, they go out. And you can hear them flapping now because the wind's just flapping about them. I can suck in, put the power on, and we're off again. I love sailing. I love being out in the boat. People joke that I'm part cyborg because I can't become part of my boat on the water. You've seen on the land that even, you know, just to get from my wheelchair to the boat or my wheelchair to another seat, I need a hoist and a group of people to lift me. I can't get around. I can't even change the channels on the television. But if I'm on the water, I'm suddenly as able as the person in the boat next to me. I think being in a boat is, is the nearest thing to flying. It's just incredible. It really is. It's, it's mind-bogglingly amazing. There's not a time I don't go out on the water when I, I come off and I'm not absolutely grinning and high as a kite. Well, when we went across the channel, we were really lucky. It was just one day, so we could pick our weather, we could pick the day we went across, we could pretty much take our time and just choose the perfect moment. But sailing around Britain is a very different prospect. We're sailing every day, um, if the weather's good. Some days we've got 40, 50 miles a day to go. And if it's good weather like this, then we'll just keep going day after day after day uh, and that's that's a huge difference because you've got to be concentrating and alert and not making mistakes you know for long periods of time. I'm not really scared about the Round Britain adventure in terms of my sailing um, skills it's going to be a real challenge and I'm going to learn every day I'm out on the boat and that's that's going to be exciting. I love being out on the sea and I, and I love that challenge. Um, I suppose physically the, is the biggest thing, you know, whether my body will actually um, put up with just being hammered day in, day out. So we've set up this charity, Hillary's Dream Trust, um, which is going to help other people who have sailing dreams and who are disabled or who are financially disadvantaged to fulfill those dreams because I think it's one of the most important things in life. But we really want to get this charity established so we're still looking for, for sponsorship um, to, get, to get the charity up and running and on a sure footing.